All right, today's video, we're gonna talk about how to get rid of that old chicken wing that we see a lot of golfers struggle with and no one likes it. We're gonna show you how to get rid of it. All right, if you haven't already done so, please click on the subscribe button below. We're gonna give away free swag every week to the best comment, thoughtful comment. Compliments don't hurt. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe because only the winner it's gonna be a subscriber. Sean, let's talk chicken wing. Uh, let's first define, right, because I know the very first comment we'll get is about which player? What about Jordan Spieth? Right, so Jordan Spieth doesn't have an issue <laughs> with his left first arm First of all, impact. you're not Jordan Spieth. That's right. That's <laughs> <laughs> what my coach would always tell me, I would say, what about so-and-so? He ain't so-and-so. <laughs> So, so true. All right, George Peace, fine. Let's worry about the guy who's really struggling. Who with looks this. like this? Yeah. Or this from down and the line. What kind of ball flights do we see from that? Ooh, so normally that's um, severe out to end club path with an open club face. So you're getting like these low pull cuts, high weak slices, a, a, a lot of different shots. Right. Mostly like cutting shots. I would well, say. my yeah, it's, it's, you're exactly right. My dad who had a really severe broken wrist when he was young, Yeah, has some chicken wing and he hits hooks when he does it. Oh, okay. Yeah, because of the wrist and everything. So you're gonna get a variety you of stuff, a lot but of you're right. Stuff. Most a of lot it. of times that over, over the top kind of slice move. Yeah. All right, so that's the chicken wing we're talking about, not the one that's won all those majors. Yeah. All right, so now <laughs> let's talk about how we can help a golfer get rid of that chicken wing, which it's after the ball's gone, let's be honest. It's an after effect. So usually when you see a problem, you need to take it back a few notches That's right. to figure out the cause, right. right? The root cause of why the chicken wing's happening. If you go to work on just trying not to chicken wing and keep your arms straight or right. whatever you're trying to do, you probably will end up blowing out your elbow right. with a severe case of tennis elbow or tennis elbow, golfer's, golfer's elbow. elbow. Absolutely. So that's the first thing. So you don't just try to attack it from the result. Right. Go to the cause and let's see if we can fix that. So most of the time it's caused, first of all, by a a severe kind of over the top, out to end, steep motion downswing. So mm -hmm. the hand path and the club are out this way, across, and in, in an effort not to make the ball go hard left, the golfer holds off the face, Right. and the arms are working across the body so much that the chest doesn't turn. Right. So it's a wipey, across the body arm motion, severely wiped with the arms, holding the face off, which if you do that, the anatomy of the arm where it's kind of under rotated or there's no supination is right. going to buckle. Yeah, so from down the line camera angle, from the view you were just demonstrating, you'll often see that elbow show up in yeah. view first rather than what you would see kind of normal with the club head exits. Yeah. You usually see this elbow, elbow exiting first. first from down the line. And if you see guys with a ace bandage or one of those air right. casts, normally 100 times out of 100, it's that motion that causes some puts pain. a lot of stress on that joint. Especially if you hit a lot of balls, yes. it puts, your arm's not designed for that. So that would be cause number one. So the, the fix for that, you know, start learning how to feel like your path is a little more from the inside, kind of swinging out to right, right field a little more. There's one caveat to that though. So, and this, this ties together nicely. So if you're swinging more from the inside, you're gonna probably still have the same release pattern, mm -hmm. right? So you're gonna hit worse balls to the Which, right. You go, yeah, it's gonna be a wide open club phase going even farther It's right. gonna be unplayable because before you actually probably could play a little because you wiped it so much that right. you bent it back in the fairway. Now you're gonna do the, ins if someone just told you, oh yeah, it's because you're over the top. Well, if you just fixed the over the top motion, you're, you're not happy because you can't play golf anymore. Right. So what's, usually things happen in twos in the swing, right? right. So we fix in the, the over the top move. What else do we have to do? So the, the way to fix the second part here is you need some supination or rotation in the, the like the lead forearm, right. right? So the hand is gonna go from back two to the camera and rotate to kind of palm to the camera. Right. That happens in a pretty short period of time down here. And as you swing from the inside more and add a little bit of that rotation, you're gonna start getting that kind of tore look post impact. Right. Right? right. The toes looks a little more up. The club starts exiting where it's supposed to be instead of your elbow from this direction. The balls start drawing or straighten out instead of slicing and everybody's happy. Yep. A great way to feel that, right, to almost force yourself to feel that is go left arm only, make some golf swings. You don't have to hit balls, make some golf swings. This is what everybody does naturally, right? You see very few golfers go yeah. like that because you're not going to hit the ball very solid. To hit so a solid true. ball, left arm only, you kind of have to allow this club head to kind of pass the arm. Yeah. 
and it's going to supinate, fold, and be yeah. very normal looking. So make some Absolutely. left arm only swings and really kind of get the feel for that happening. And you always see good players. You can always tell the good players because they're hanging around on the tee box doing this. Right. Right? You can, I mean, you just see it in your head. The yep. good players are always got the club doing this and they're kind of practicing that motion. It's not even something they have to think about anymore. That's exactly so, right. So, you know, if you, once you can get that feeling, you could even hit little left arm only shots, hitting little draws, and your chicken wing is gone forever. That's right. The chicken wings are great for parties. I like Buffalo Wild Wings. Great for way. Super Bowls. Not so good much. for your golf game. Put that in try, let us know how it goes, and I'm sure if you give it enough time, go slow enough, you're gonna take care of that chicken wing and start hitting more solid iron shots.